What is happening everyone? Yes, it is your boy Brad here and welcome on to the Big Brad channel and finally, 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 it's took four games, but finally Arsenal have a W to their name, one win and three defeats so far this season. One goal scored, nine conceded, still, still plenty of work to do, but it looked impressive from what I heard and what I saw. Well, I didn't see it, obviously, so I didn't watch the game, but three o'clock games are going to be the hardest to do, like, for player ratings and such, because, obviously, I've not seen the game. I don't get to watch the games on Saturdays at three o'clock, so I'm just going to grade it on, basically, what I think um, in terms of performance-wise, etc., etc., and we'll go from there. So, um, my thoughts... On the game, it sounded like we dominated. Well, from what I was hearing and everyone on Twitter, etc., etc., that's how I um, um, portray the three o'clock games is in like hear about them and obviously get notifications and such on my phone and such like. So, from what I heard, we bossed it, except a few minutes like before half time, and then Norwich came back into the game, etc., etc. But from overall, it sounded like it was a good, good performance and. Um, some pretty impressive games from Aaron Ramsdale, Tommy Asu on their debuts, Premier League debuts. And um, Ben White and Gabriel in defence look solid. Um, Thomas Partey coming back into the midfield as a substitute. I think he should have started really, but he looked impressive. He looked sharp. He looked really, really up for it and such like. And Aubameyang with his goal, obviously, the goal that won us the game. But yeah, it, it sounded like it was a really, really good performance overall. But I'm not getting carried away. And the Arteta in lot will come out of their shadows and say, oh, look, we finally won a game. Everyone will just decide to jump on board with the Arteta in bandwagon now, thinking, oh, we've turned a corner. I don't think we have. I don't think we have. One good game doesn't defy a season. I mean, the start of the season, we have had the worst start to the season for over... 40 well for over goodness knows how long over over a decade definitely but I can't I remember how long exactly but it's been the worst start to a season ever for Arsenal in ages but this game is not a definition that Arteta is out of the woods just yet I don't think he is we need to go and win against Burnley next Saturday on Saturday this Saturday coming up and then it's the big one the North London derby the weekend after which is going to be a big, big, big test for the boys. But hopefully we can come out on top. But with Harry Kane, Son, if they're firing, I don't think we've got a chance. But we need that bat four and the goalkeeper needs to stick. It needs to stick. Ramsdale, Tommy Asu, Ben White, Gabriel, Tierney. That's the bat five. That is the bat five sorted. Goalkeeper to defence, sorted. Midfield needs to be Albert Samuel Conger and Thomas. The forward line, it's going to be mix and match because you've got Pepe, Emil Smith, Rowe who can play, Erdegaard, Saka, and then up front, obviously, Bamiang. If Bamiang plays out on the left, then Lacazette up front. It's going to chop and change, um, but hopefully we can now kick on and get our season going because fault at the start of the season, obviously, but hopefully now... After this showing, and from what I've heard, it was a good showing. We need to kick on. So let's go into the player ratings. Starting goal, Aaron Ramsdale. I mean, he's not put a foot wrong in the two games that he's played. I mean, yeah, everyone's going to say, yeah, it's West Brom and Norwich, this, that, and the other. But listen, you've got to beat what's put in front of you. Ramsdale didn't do much wrong. Supposedly his distribution was good and such. But I'm not going to fault him. I'm going to give him a 7 for his performance. Going to the back line, starting off with uh, Takiro Tomiyasu. From what I heard, it was a really impressive debut. He was physically good, overlapping Pepe, doing the defensive work, attacking work well. Looks really impressive from what I heard, so I'm going to give Tomiyasu a 7. Uh, going to the back line, starting off with um, Ben White. Solid performance, clean sheet, so giving the defence all 7s. Gabriel again, solid performance, 7 Tierney, solid performance, 7. Going to the midfield position, Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Now, this was an interesting selection from Mikel Arteta. From, from what I heard, it seemed to work because he had a good game. 
and he gets a 7-2. Going to Albert Sambal Okonga, I mean, he's been the shining light in the team um, since the beginning of the season. He's looked really, really sharp, really confident on the ball. He looks really, really good, and I think he could be one for the future, definitely, for sure. So I'm going to give um, Albert a 7. Going to the attacking three, starting off with Nicola Pepe. Um, obviously heard that he had a good game as well, so I'm going to give him a 7. Um, going into the attacking, well, going to the attacking midfield role, Martin Odegaard. Energy levels were good. Uh, closing down was good. But overall, again, another solid performance, so give him a 7. Um, Bukayo Saka, you can't fault the work rate, you can't fault everything about him. And... Uh, Another good solid performance, so I'll give him a 7. And up front, pierre Aubameyang gets an 8 because he got a goal. The goal that we needed, our first goal of the season. So hopefully that'll kickstart him and kickstart our season. And hopefully the confidence is up. Um, going to the substitutes, I don't know all the subs because I didn't really take much notice. But I know one of them, Thomas Partey, um, came on. Had a good impact on the game. Looked really sharp. So I give him a 7. Uh, manager rating, Mikel Arteta, I don't know the rest of the subs. I know Emil Smith-Rowe came on. Yeah, Emil Smith-Rowe came on. Um, from what I heard, looked good and such. So I'll give him a 7 as well. So going to the manager rating, Mikel Arteta, he gets a 7. I mean, yeah, you could be critical one weekend and then you've got to be really positive on another note, but he's not out of the woods yet. Not for me. Um, but yeah... So the 3 o'clock games um, are going to be hard for me to do player ratings because if I'm not, like, if I don't go to the games, then obviously, and if I don't see the games, then it's going to be hard for me to judge the ratings system. So you'll just have to go with what I go with. So guys, if you do enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll be back next week for the uh, preview and predicted lineup for the game against Burnley. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.